Hey guys, Sean here from s &P. Today here with Jamie Smith, executive chef at the Abode Hotels. He is going to show you a few ways on how to cook your eggs. So guys, I'm now going to show you three different ways of cooking eggs. So first of all, we're going to do a scrambled. So I can imagine a lot of people at home do scrambled in various different ways. Throughout my career, I've seen many different ways. And this is the way I feel is the best. And I'll tell you why. So uh, I don't whisk my eggs up beforehand when I'm doing scrambled. I put them straight in the pan. And usually you can do it two ways. You can either use a bit of butter or we can use uh, coconut oil. So I'm gonna use coconut oil. So throw a teaspoon to a tablespoon in the pan. Crack your egg in whole. I'll do uh, two eggs. The reason I don't whisk the egg beforehand is because egg yolks are what's called a liaison, which means they're a natural thickener. So I keep it on a medium heat. And I try and keep the yolks whole for as long as possible and just break up the whites. Uh, with seasoning of the eggs, I'll leave that to the end, partly because if you season eggs too early, then they start to go gray. And if eggs go gray, they're losing the color and they're probably losing two, two other things as well, which is one flavor and two nutrients. And then near the end, break up your yolks, mix it all together. I would season. To me, salt's the only seasoning because salt actually enhances flavors, whereas pepper is more of a spice because it is a flavor. It wouldn't make anything taste better. It just adds another flavor. Next, guys, we're going to be uh, making an omelette. So I'll do a two egg omelette. Unlike the scrambled eggs, I will have to whisk these in advance but and season in advance, but I'll do it at the, the last second. The most important thing about an omelette, doing an omelette, is one, having a non-stick pan, two, lubing it with your oil. I wouldn't use butter for uh, making an omelette, partly because you want it at a high heat, and if you use butter, then the butter's gonna burn and it'll turn it, uh, your omelette very bitter. So, uh, a bit of water left in the pan. So, uh, make sure your pan's well lubed. If the non-stickiness isn't the best. Again, so you want that on a high heat. And at this stage, you could add whatever you want. So, I'll add a bit of uh, diced peppers. A bit of courgette, a bit of onion. So lightly fry them off. Add your seasoning to your eggs. Let's go with a fork. Pour it in, move it around. So it pretty much starts to seal. Scrape the outside back in. At this stage here is where I'd add my cheese on top if I wanted a cheesy omelette and then just let that naturally melt. I don't really do anything with that now, I just let it cook from the bottom upwards until all this uh, raw bit of egg is pretty much cooked, which doesn't take too long. And then from that stage, basically roll it down, slide it onto my plate.
Next guys, we're going to be doing a poached egg. As we were talking about before, usually we'll use a white wine vinegar, but as we're trying to be healthy, we're going to use the apple cider vinegar and a mother. So we've already got a tablespoon of that in my water. As you can see, I've got quite a tall uh, saucepan and I want to bring that uh, water to the boil. So when that water does come to the boil, then you crack your egg drop it in and then you want that water to come right down so turn your hob to its lowest setting and put a timer on for three minutes you don't want to put too much vinegar in that it then starts making the egg taste vinegary but a bit of science there that it helps the white stay together with the yolk but uh, one of the most important things about poaching eggs is the eggs need to be uh, super fresh or if you drop them in the water, the white might just separate and disappear. So as you can see with the egg, the, it's dropped in and all the white's gone round it and it's just uh, poaching very nicely. 